Hi folks, my name is Darren Gertis. I'm just a professor trying to help you with context in the war in Ukraine. And periodically something like this crops up and I feel like I need to address it because it's important. So yesterday I put out this video about uh, Joe Bloggs being hacked uh, and I explained how to help. You could go to Twitter and you could let them know on Twitter or you could go through YouTube and I showed you exactly how to go through YouTube in order to help him be restored. Now Joe Bloggs is an interesting guy. I've highlighted some of his works in some of my own videos because he very often, while he talks about all things economics and he talks about what's going on in India and Cuba and China and Russia, he spends a lot of time dealing with what's going on in Russia. Uh, I highlighted this just last week when he was talking about the oil refinery strikes. And so we're just going to listen to like 30 seconds of it just to get a sense. To the table. And that's exactly what they're doing with these drone attacks. This map shows some of Russia's major oil refineries and provides details of those that have been attacked so far. Now, in terms of determining exactly what's going on on this map, the dots represent the location of the oil refineries and the circles that surround those dots indicates the percentage of Russia's total refinery output that that refinery relates to. So basically what that means is that the bigger the circle, the bigger the percentage output. And the now, this is pretty impressive. That Okay, so what he's talking about are these circles. And the title here is 45% of oil capacity hit by drone attacks. Not that 45% was out, and he clarified that in the video, but that if if you had been able to knock out all these things here, like if it's red, it was actually uh, disrupted, and if it was blue, it was not damaged, even if it was hit, right? So uh, if you had been able to damage or take these down, that would have accounted for 45% of Russian oil capacity. And so that was a very insightful thing to help with my own analysis with what we're doing, so that's why I was highlighting it. He does a really good job with all of these kinds of things, and back to where we are, um, he He's somebody who should be supported. Now, what actually happened, and I talked about it in this video, was that somebody hacked Joe Bloggs and got in, uh, changed his passwords, removed all of his videos, um, and then they had this running loop of a cryptocurrency something. And I asked you all, please go out and let YouTube know. And dozens, maybe hundreds of you have. I thanked as many of you as I could with the limited time that I had. Um, and I asked you to put that below in the in this video. And I said thank you to as many as I could. Um, and now that website is being seen by YouTube. And so they're, they've taken it offline. I don't know if, um, you know, it was the person that hacked it that initially did it or whatever, but it, it, that's now done down. So he started a new account. It is at Joe blogs dash HG. Like if you just type in, uh, at Joe blogs in, in a search, you will get his new account and he gives a hacking update and that kind of thing. It's HG. 2JX, I, I guess that's what YouTube assigned him. I, I'm, I'm assuming that that's what's going on here. And so here you see uh, he's posted a few of his most recent videos back up again. Like again, Argentina, Egypt in trouble, Cuba, Russian rocked, India stops buying Russian oil, 300 billion frozen assets, China again. This, this is the one that I talked about. Uh, Russian economy starts to collapse. Okay, so it's all of this is good economic analysis that helps us understand how the world works, especially in relation to Russia. I don't know if he hit a nerve and it was Russian hackers or if it was just some criminal somewhere as a target of opportunity. I can't tell you that, but I can tell you that uh, this shouldn't have happened. Let's look at his video where he talks about how he's been hacked. And this was posted yesterday. This was like his first response to it. Hi, Joe Bloggs here. I've got some really terrible news to share with you. Overnight, my Gmail and YouTube accounts were hacked and have been stolen by hackers. And the thousand videos that I've put together over the last three years have been removed, they've been deleted, and instead the hackers have posted some stuff on crypto. And as it stands right now, I've no idea whether or not I'm going to be able to get the channel back because the hackers have changed all of the security details and I can't contact Google to be able to explain it to them. There isn't. A so the reason that you can't contact Google is Google doesn't make it easy for you to do that. Like you can send them a message, but you can't actually talk to a person. And this it's pretty frustrating, but that's the way Google rolls. A live chat or a helpline. I've contacted them through Twitter to try to sort it out, but I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to. So in the meantime, I've set up Joe Blogs 2.0, 
please subscribe. Please ask all of your friends to subscribe. And we can try and get back to where we were, 360,000 subscribers. So please support me in rebuilding the channel. And if I have any news in terms of the hackers, I will let you know as soon as possible. Okay, so that's where we are with the update. And then uh, I was looking at his Patreon account, and this came out five. This is his uh, Joe Blogs Patreon uh, hacking update. And thank you. Hi everyone. I just wanted to let you uh, let you have an update on the current state of affairs. First and foremost, uh, though I want to say. First and foremost, though, I want to say thank you so much for the love and generosity that you have shown me over the past 24 hours. As you might have imagined, this has been a very stressful time for me as I'm facing losing over three years worth of work due to the actions of these heinous hackers. However, the huge amount of support that I've received from my supporters has really helped me to get through it, and I want to thank you all that I've that, uh, that have sent me messages who have increased their level of financial support, signed up as new patrons, and buy, uh, and buy me a coffee members, and who have bought me insane amounts of coffees. You are all wonderful people, and your actions mean a lot to me. This incident has also made me realize how important it is to have other platforms for such support as Patreon and Buy Me a Coffee. So so thank you for supporting me in this way. In terms of where we are on the YouTube channel, I managed to contact the YouTube creators through the help of one of my family, Gary Evans, if you have time to check out his channel and the list the channel here. The creators have been very helpful and they have now taken down the hacker videos, but have also removed my entire channel. So there's a process here. They're removing this. Hopefully that it can be restored. I don't know if it can be because when you delete a video on YouTube, if you're like in YouTube studio and you delete something, it says delete permanently. This is gone forever. And you have to check a box to agree to that and click yes. So I don't know if he'll get it back. And I don't know how many he had backed up. I mean, he only put 10 back up so far. So he might not just have them. Um, so that's where we are right now. Uh, I'm now in an appeal process to request that it is reinstated, and I'm waiting to hear if that will be possible so that we will have to wait and see what happens. Now, even if they can't restore the videos, if you can restore the channel and he can have his 300,000 some odd subscribers back, at least he can rebuild from there, even if he has lost this past work. But that, that's a tremendous blow. And I, I don't know if he does this, if like this is his full-time gig or if he, you know, real, has an outside job. Like I, I, I'll still be teaching next week if something were to happen to me. It would be a terrible blow. But, and I and I did change my password. Thank you for all of you asking. Um, as, a, uh, uh, as I don't uh, currently have access, I also don't know if the hackers have deleted my videos or not of which there were around a thousand. I have been taken off uh, the AdSense payment program through which creators are paid, so I've applied to rejoin and I'm waiting to hear about that too. Now, uh, that's a tricky thing because you have to have 4,000 hours and he's, he's going to talk about that. Um, so it's currently a case of wait and see, which is a shame as I had four great videos lined up for the holiday weekend. In the meantime, the replacement of Joe Blog's channel and he lists a link, but he, he gave the YouTube studio link. I like, I'm, I'm sure he's very frazzled. Like this link does not work because like it, the YouTube studio link isn't the same link as the actual video link until you get into the video and then choose that link from inside the video. At any rate, he, he just grabbed it, I'm sure, from the, the top, the bar, and yeah, okay. Uh, it's starting to build up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so, and if you have time, please watch a video or two. I need to get a uh, clock up 4,000 4, hours of watch time before the channel is eligible to join the AdSense program. I'll keep you posted on developments. Thanks again, Joe. Okay, so that's where we are. So I, I would urge you, if you are at all interested in Joe Blogs, I'm now clicking subscribe. And as of this morning, when I got up at about 8, it's now 9.30, uh, I got up and it was uh, 1.7, and it's now at, how many uh, subscribers does he have? 
It's now 1.87. So it's it's going up. But again, that's a long way to 300,000 who are largely unaware. And part of this video is to help with the awareness. Okay, that's all that I have here about Joe Blogs. I hope that that helps you understand what has transpired and how you can help. I've reached out to him. I haven't heard back yet, but um, hopefully he'll be able to get this under control and restore at least the subscribers, if not the videos. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and thank you for being the kind of person who cares about Ukraine.